Good morning and welcome back. I'm Shelby Coates and Lil G joins us for 41 Top Entertainment. Good morning to you. Hey, Shelby, how you doing? Wonderful Friday, TGIF. As always. All right, well, we have a lot to talk about today in entertainment. So you ready to jump right in? I sure am. All right, let's start off with NBC's The Voice judges. Who made it official? Tell us about that. They made it official 4th of July weekend in Oklahoma. So big congratulations to Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani. They finally tied the knot. And man, it was a wonderful wedding. It was held at Blake's Wild Ranch in Oklahoma, like I said. And although they married 4th of July weekend, now they're just enjoying the life of two married people and uh, enjoying work as Mr. and Mrs. And I saw some of the photos on social media. They look so beautiful, and I love it. All right, next we have Great. some big news for Megan the Stallion. So now this is this is kind of official, but not official. Just remember, you heard it first from me right here on Forty One NBC. Okay. So right now, it's been tagged that Megan the Stallion is going to make more than just an appearance on Disney's She-Hulk. Okay. So this is a Marvel sitcom. Uh, it was said before that she was just going to make one cameo. But now it's being said that she's going to be making uh, reoccurrence appearances regularly. So big shouts out to Megan Thee Stallion. And remember, you heard it from me first. We heard it from you first. Man, she is all over the place. I'm very proud of her, too. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. <laughs> Let's leave that to Meg, please. All right. Let's talk about another deal. Masterpiece Son signed a big deal. Tell me about this one. He did. So, you know, for a long time, the NCAA said that they didn't want kids to make name or make money off of their name and they couldn't get paid while they was in school at, the, at all that kind of stuff. So now it's become official. The NCAA is allowing uh, student athletes to use their names to make money. And Masterpiece Son is the first to sign a deal. He's at Tennessee State playing basketball. Okay, Tennessee He's State. To, yeah, you're talking, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm a Tennessee girl. Your neck of the woods. But yeah, he signed a $2 million deal to use his name to make money while he's playing basketball for Tennessee State. A lot of people proud of these college athletes getting to finally make some money off their name and likeness. So I guess congrats to him. I think it's a good thing, actually. All right. Next, let's talk about another deal with Barbie. There's a new release, right? Oh, man. So I'm so proud of this young lady. You have no idea. Naomi, how do you even say her name? Naomi Osaka. That sounds right to me. She's the first female Japanese tennis player to ever win a single match. And now she's making more history by becoming a Barbie role model. So I, I love her. She's so young and she is, a, to me, a good role model. So I know a lot of girls and uh, tennis fans are going to love to get that doll. And she speaks out on certain issues like racial uh, discrimination. And uh, uh, recently she refused to play in a tennis match. Uh, because of depression, and she was speaking out on that, and, you know, she's just a real good young lady, so I'm glad to see this happen to her. All right, we are almost out of time, so quickly, let's close out with re remembering the life of Charlie Robinson. Charlie Robinson passed away at the age of 75. A lot of people remember him from Night Court. I remember him from the movie Set It Off, you know. <laughs> he also played in uh, Will Smith's uh, 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 Bel Air, Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, okay, cool. So cool. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chief, for breaking down all that top entertainment for us. Anytime, Shelby.